iterators. Let's talk about iterators. So we're gonna iterate over, say, an array list. This iterators, uh, iterator is an interface and is implemented by all the collections, uh, pretty much. So it'll work on a lot of uh, array, work on the array list and the hash set and a lot of the other collections. So I'm just gonna show you here. It uh, works for an array list of integer. Call it list, new array list of integer. And um, I, of course I need to import my array list. And then I can add some numbers there, three, Gonna add an six and uh, eleven. So let's say now I want to iterate over this list. So I have a list, which is an array list, and I want to have a little for loop that goes through each one in turn. We often need to do this. The way you would do this is with an iterator of, in this case, integer, because we know the array list of integer. Uh, oops, uh, I'm gonna call it it for iterator is uh, list dot iterator. So this is how I get the iterator. I'm gonna have to import iterator and notice that there's these two ones here. Uh, at least you know depending on what libraries you have, but I got this one. That's not the, I want the Java util iterator. Don't use the other one. Uh, so there you go, import Java util array list and Java util iterator. And uh, so here, this creates the iterator and you know, sets it to the beginning. Sets it to the beginning, whatever that may be. So now once we have an iterator, uh, the iterator, uh, as you can see, you can see the Java util iterator integer. It's part of the collection framework. It's an interface. And if you go here, you know, click there and get the uh, full Java doc on it, it'll come up. Uh, you can see the iterator interface uh, has three methods, has next, next, and remove. And you can probably guess what they do. So has next is a Boolean, tells me if there is a next one or not. Next one gets the next element, and remove removes the current one. So while it dot has next has next while there are more elements, I'm just gonna print out it dot next, and I'm gonna run that, and then you see it works three six eleven, and it stopped. So it printed out all the elements. You now we did this little while loop, and uh, that was it. Uh, so some uh, this is uh, more most people will write this in this way that will just to I guess save a little space uh, I get rid of that and uh, I get rid of move well, uh, I want to move that over here to the semicolon and then another semicolon there. Uh, and this is the same thing. I'm going to run this again, make sure, yeah, it works. So again, this is the same thing. I just moved things around. Uh, so now I can put it all within one line and a for loop. Um, so whatever you prefer, they're both two ways. You know, the trick about this way is that, you know, the semicolon and nothing, right? So normally here's where you would put the plus plus stuff. But you don't because you are doing that here in the next, right? So it.next does two things it returns the next element and in increases uh, so that's another thing to keep in mind if you need to use the next value several times within your for loop which you normally would uh, you probably want to do something like an integer i uh, is it that next and then use i throughout here right and then you can use i over here and so forth because uh, uh, you don't want to call you only want to call next uh, once otherwise uh, you know you move to the next element so that's the iterator uh, the, the that's next 
the uh, next and has next. Also, the iterator method is also pretty standard. So when you have a collection, like a list, uh, there's often an iterator method that returns an iterator or returns some a variable that implements the iterator interface. Um, so that's very common also. Uh, the last one is the uh, remove. So let me, uh, so this is just going to print out all the numbers, right? So I'll move down here and now I'm going to try to remove. Well, I'm going to create another iterator because that one's em now empty. So copy that down here. And uh, this is a new one. You see it's out of scope because this one was only defined in this scope. So this is going to be a new iterator. And uh, I have to call it next to get the first element and then it.remove. It's then going to remove the first element and just to see if that works, I'm going to print uh, the list. So I run that and you see, sure enough, the list is now 611. So it, it removed the first element. If I had done next, next, I run that, it's going to now remove the middle element. So it went to the second element and so. And I did remove, they removed the middle element or the second element, and now it lists us 3 and 11. And uh, that's iterators. So. so those are the three methods uh, has next, next, and remove.